You've received some feedback, data, and analytics from playtesting your prototype. Now you need to integrate some of this feedback and update your prototypes. This is the iteration stage of the design process. What can be changed? What should be changed? What sort of changes will you make and test? This brings us back to the prototype stage where you build another prototype that improves upon your previous prototypes based on the feedback you've received in playtesting. So you take that prototype and you playtest your new prototype and then iterate again, and then back to the prototype stage where you'll be cutting different prototypes that don't work out, and cutting features that don't work, and adding new features to test, and cutting features that used to work but now don't. And eventually you'll begin to focus on one prototype, and you'll keep iterating on it, and eventually make a wireframe, and a first playable demo, and an alpha build, and a beta build, and then eventually, after enough cycles through the prototype, playtests, and iteration stages, you'll eventually get to the stage of implementation. Iteration is something we do in all areas of life, not just in game design. We try something and then change it based on the feedback we get.